I'm Gwyneth Herbert, musician, composer and writer, and I have a brand new show called Letters I Haven't Written. This is a project that explores how we communicate and seeks to find more meaningful connections with ourselves, with our communities and with the world. The journey of making this project started a couple of years ago, with me sat at my piano with a pen in my hand staring at a blank sheet of paper, thinking, where on earth do I start? And my beautiful friend Sophie had just taken her life. So I thought, maybe I'll write a letter song to her. That was my first letter song. And then you'll say, let's go fishing for squirrels. We'll dangle to... Having written that, that was such a cathartic experience. And suddenly the letter songs just started coming really thick and fast. So I wrote a thank you letter to my maverick sixth form college music teacher who taught me to hear the music in the world in an entirely new way. And then the next half hour going A duet written and sung with my best pal, Crystal Warren. A story of our friendship, love, laughter, understanding and a lot of whiskey. With each note, I'm wishing you the best from here to over there. A letter song inspired by some of the heartbreaking stories shared with me during uh, my time in Calais in the refugee camp, telling the story of a mother who sends her daughter off on a treacherous journey across the world. Every blade of summer grass, every splinter of your wind. An exploration of hashtag semiotics and online aggression, seeking to find a way of compassionate dialogue within an arena where everyone seems to be shouting at each other. A letter to the government demanding a creative revolution in education. Economy, economy, economy. And an exploration of the kind of conditional belonging that so many people in this country face, inspired by some of the amazing stories, heartbreaking stories of people of the Windrush generation. So from that very, very personal place of writing that first letter, suddenly the letter song form became a way of me exploring and learning about things which are incredibly close to my heart. An amazing and integral part of the project for me has been um, the opportunity to work with this really diverse group of communities from kids to older people to women from refuge centres and this amazing group of vulnerable young women and artists in Oxford. So as well as writing individual songs, we also collectively wrote this letter song called The Butterfly Effect, which is born out of all of their experiences and their voices. And it's about how can we as women find a way of talking to the world. Of all the projects that I've ever made, this has been the most emotional and epic. The journey of writing it from that really personal place to then all of the voices joining me creatively. So this show is really for everyone. Anyone who's ever stared down at a piece of paper and not been able to pick up a pen. Anyone who's looked at the phone in fear. Anyone who's stood under the stars and felt tiny and scared. And what I've learnt through making it is that everybody is struggling for connection in some way. And if we all come together and feel our vulnerability and our strength, um, together we can make something really beautiful.